Today we are talking about text expanders. If you call yourself a productivity geek and you're not using one, I'm beginning to seriously doubt your commitment to Sparkle Motion. Let's talk about what a text expander is, who would use it, five crazy big benefits you get from them, and also one huge drawback that might make you never touch it in the first place. Let's get into it. Hello and welcome. I am Jonathan Pritchard from iCanReadMinds.com and I love my text expander. Years ago, I had no clue what they were, never used it, and then it hit my radar somehow, tried it out, and I was an instant convert. So basically, a text expander is something, it's a program that's running on your laptop, your desktop computer, and anything that you type in, you can tell it when I type a certain trigger word that I want you to replace that, what I've just typed with whatever else I want. So if you want, you could do a colon address and it would fill out your address. So basically any kind of trigger that you would want, you can type it and then replace it with some other text. It is incredibly useful. It's that simple, but the number of places where you can use it, you just keep finding more and more opportunities that uh, text expander would come in handy. So that's the general idea. It is really that simple that you type something and the program knows whenever you type that, I want it replaced with this. That's all it does. It expands this one little thing into whatever else you want it to be. So that's what it is. So who would use it? Basically, if you are a writer, if you're always doing boilerplate, if you need forms and and filling out stuff all the time, you can do that. If you are a marketer and you're doing constant outreach and you don't want to type the same email over and over and over again, well, then you could use a text expander. If you do any kind of data input of all the same kind of stuff, well, then you can use that. If you're a customer service rep and you've got canned responses and you've got your list of five appropriate responses, you could be using a text expander to drastically reduce your amount of typing. If you're a medical professional and you're always using the same codes and formulas or boilerplate or standard forms and that kind of a thing, you should be using a text expander. If you're in social media marketing or your social media manager, you should absolutely be using one because the just like the customer service rep, if you've got the same answers to the same questions or comments that you're getting on posts, you can rely on your text expander to answer all of those things very quickly. Instead of having to copy from somewhere else and paste in here, you can use the text expander to answer it right there and then the whole answer pops in. If you're an academic and you're always using the same phrases in your writing or citing the same thing over and over again, absolutely use one. So basically anybody that sits at the keyboard should be using a text expander and the number of places that you'll find it useful, the more you use it, the more you'll find yourself using it in more situations. So just go ahead and dive in. And also, if you're not sold already, I want to show you the five biggest benefits you get from using one. And we've already touched on it, which is basically the, the top number one is time saving. The amount of time that you save, you can't even imagine how much time you spend typing the same stuff. Now, part of, part of this time saving is tied to another idea, which is context switching. And stick with me here because a lot of people think, well, if I'm sending the same email, I will use email snippets and I've got all of that stored in my email. And if I want my replies to social media, I'll open up my Google Doc, copy from there, come over here and paste in there. And all that is wasted time because say that you've got your, your email snippets, your email templates in your email, but maybe that particular template works great on another profile that you don't have set up with that snippet. Well, then you're going to have to take time to duplicate that work. 
and you are locked into that context of, I can only use the email here, and then I'm going to store all my answers for social media in another place where I have to copy them, then come back over to the browser, paste it in, then go back to the Google Doc to copy more text, and then come back here. That's a lot of back and forth, and all of your shortcuts are stored in different places that are siloed where you can't get at them if they were useful in another context. So the difference here is that the text expander is living in the background of your operating system on your computer so that you can have access to those e expansions anywhere you are. So you always know that you can expand in whatever email you're in. If you have a Gmail account and a Proton account and you've got a self-hosted email and you're constantly going between those, well, there's no standard template that's the same for all of them unless you say, here's my response to a podcast interview guest appearance request. So you said, wherever that came in, you can say, hey, thank you so much. I really appreciate you inviting me on the show. Sounds like a great fit. Here's a link, to, right? So that answer doesn't have to live in three different places in three separate email accounts. That one, that one response can live in your text expander and get dropped into whichever email program you happen to be in. And if you are doing graphic design and you need boilerplate or you need ipsum lorem and you go and copy and paste it in if you're in figma or you're in photoshop or indesign or that kind of thing uh, i know indesign has a fill in feature yourself but you don't have to know that you can just have a whole bunch of filler text as a snippet that you could expand wherever you are in any design program that you are running so that's why I'm saying that you can save a lot of time even trying to figure out ways to save yourself time for this program or that program or this one. It can all, if it's text-based, it can all live in your text expander. And that to me is the biggest, the biggest benefit hands down. It has saved me so much time. In fact, one of the first text expanders that I started with would send me an email every week saying, here's how much time you saved. Had you needed to type everything that you expanded, you would have spent an hour this week typing that you didn't have to spend. And that showed me how much time I was saving in that hour. I could go spend with my kid, my wife, my family, my friends, going to do anything other than typing in this email. So if you want that time back, use a text expander. The second benefit is consistency because I found that when I was responding via email and I was typing it all out by hand and I would need to include a link to my website or resource or something. Well, I, I'm not so good with the brain to hand connection. So sometimes I would misspell my own URL and then the client would go, it's not working for me. It's not loading. Is there something wrong? And then it just introduces friction into the relationship. But if I've got all my forms and all my templates and all my email responses in the text expander, all I need to do is to trigger the correct response. It fills it out. And I know for sure that the URLs are all consistent, that my name is spelled properly, that the business name is spelled properly. Everything is done perfectly every time because I don't need to type it by hand and introduce my mistake every single time that I type it out. Instead, let the text responder remember the exact correct way that it should be, and then it drops it in like a robot. It is perfect every single time, and I love that. The third benefit is how flexible it is, and this kind of goes back to context switching because a lot of programs and environments want you to conform to the way that their engineers expect you to behave and interact with their environment. So maybe this place, 
stores your templates down here and this other program stores your templates up here in a completely different place or a different color or you've got to keep track of all this stuff or they're they're saying you have to use these keyboard shortcuts to access these snippets and these templates and shortcuts and everything, right? Well, a text expander is at the global level. It doesn't care what program you're in. It's always listening to what you're typing. So you can create your own shortcuts. So whatever it is that you're going to remember that is easy for you to recall when you need it, make your trigger that. It doesn't need to make sense to anybody else, just needs to make sense to you. And that makes it way easier for you to remember. And if you remember it easier, you're going to use it more often. And then it is going to be more likely that you wind up using this tool that can save you so much time and help you be so consistent. And it's that simplicity and ability to make it perfectly yours that is missing from a lot of the computer environments that we find ourselves working in eight, 10 hours a day. So why not use this tool that that is designed to fit you like the glove that you want or don't want? Great. It's yours to make perfect. So that to me is a huge benefit of being able to find a tool that works the way that I want it to work because I can make it work the way that I want it to. Benefit number four is that it reduces the amount of strain that you've got on your wrists, on your hands, and your forearms from typing so much. Because if I'm saving an hour or two, even just at the week level, that's a significant amount of time that I'm spending not typing, not putting wear and tear on these things. So the fact that I'm not doing that for so long means that I experience less strain, less the soreness. I, I don't get sore typing as much because I, I don't have to as, anymore because I'm letting my text expander do a lot of my day-to-day -day stuff. The fifth benefit kind of goes back to not having to go through context switching. And that's because it works on basically every platform, Mac, Linux, Windows, you've got a text expander that will work on all three of those. So if you're like me, I've got a Mac laptop. I use a Raspberry Pi with Linux. I've got a Windows gaming desktop. So I'm going through I'm switching these environments all the time, but my shortcuts and text expanders are all the same across all of them because I set it up that way. So it doesn't matter which place I'm in, it works exactly the way that I've set it up because my text expander is mine and the triggers are the ones that I've set and it's the same no matter where I am. Most of the time it's semicolon trigger and then it expands all of the text. So it works when I'm on Mac, Linux, Windows. I don't even have to think about it. So not only at the program level, but at the operating system level, you've got consistency that you don't get any other way if you have to go between those environments. So it saves you time on that front. It provides consistency, lowers your context switching, reduces your, your frustration and wasted time. So that's why those are crazy big benefits that I hope help you. And I've touched on the big drawback. So let's, let's take a minute to talk about that directly, which is it is listening to every single thing that you type. So if you are typing nuclear launch codes, your text expander technically has logged those keystrokes. And some of the worst malware on planet Earth are key loggers so that they can get your passwords, they can get admin access, they can root your entire system and then lock you out of it. So... If you're a paranoid type that you don't want anybody else possibly looking at your keystrokes, then you may not want to use a text expander. Now, I'm getting a little ahead of myself because I want to make future videos that show you how to set this stuff up. And if you would like to see that, 
like this video, leave a comment of what you would like to know about setting up a text expander. But again, I'm getting a little ahead of myself because there are some text expanders that are open source that other people way smarter than me have audited and they make sure that it's not calling out to some external server and exporting everything that you've typed to their database. So there are private personal solutions that you can still get on all of your operating systems that will respect your privacy because you're the one running the code instead of using a service. Now, if you don't care about that at all, then you have zero reservations. I, I don't think that the serious text expander programs and companies are in the business of harvesting your data and logging all of your keystrokes permanently. So I don't feel weird about that at all. And I'm pretty paranoid as it is. But if you are paranoid, there are still uh, solutions that will fit you. So that's why on the whole, the benefits you get from using them and that one drawback that you can solve pretty easily means that if you're sitting at a computer, which you probably are, unless you're watching this on TV or your uh, phone. But anyway, if you use a computer on a regular basis, you should be using a text expander. And if it saves you time, I, I would love to hear from you. And if you enjoyed this video, again, give it a like. That will let me know that you want to see more stuff like this. And it'll let YouTube know that other people interested in productivity and building a custom fit toolkit for bringing their vision to life will have a better chance of seeing this. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for sticking it through. Again, I'm Jonathan Pritchard from iCanReadMinds.com and I would love if you subscribe to the channel so that you can see more videos like this as I post them. And if you're not ready for that kind of commitment, then I strongly suggest you check out this video next, which YouTube thinks you would love. And in the meantime, always remember that if you can change your mind, you can change your life.